Yeah. Is Tuca going to tell them? <coughs> Is that what you thought of it? Great. <laughs> right now, my husband Darnell, Tuca, our five pound chihuahua Einstein and I are completely changing our lives. We're packing up our pickup truck and moving our little fam across Canada from bustling Toronto to a land of wide open spaces in Prince George, British Columbia. Rock on guys! Okay, welcome back to the vlog. Tuka and I are going to give you a recap of what our trip across Canada was like. <gasps> yeah! What did you think, Tooks? Was it a good one? Oh, kisses. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> we drove across Canada. Well, not the whole Canada. We didn't start in the Maritimes, but we did drive from Toronto to Prince George, British Columbia, which is in the north of British Columbia. Um, and Toronto is, I guess, pretty central in Canada. <laughs> we crossed one, two, three provinces, three whole provinces, four, five provinces if you count the bits, most of Ontario, and also a lot of BC on our way north. Um, and we saw, what did we see, Tukes? Not Tuka's hand. We did see a lot of Tuka's hand, yeah. We saw a wolf in Jasper Park. <laughs> we saw a buffalo. We saw pronghorns. Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we saw very few cars. <laughs> And I think probably for me, always, and we've, I've actually had the opportunity of crossing the country a couple of times on the Via Rail train that goes across Canada, the Canadian, uh, from Toronto to Vancouver. And uh, I've played music on that train, so I was really excited about the drive. <laughs> okay. Nice ear, buddy. <laughs> um, but the road is, I have to say about 8 million times cooler. <laughs> There's just better windows, better viewpoints. You can stop and do things. I highly recommend the drive. I also highly recommend the train. They're cool. But I think every time I cross the country, the the biggest... Tuka! Ah! I, I think probably the most stark, shocking, amazing... Yeah thing that I notice every time we cross the country is how fast the landscapes change. It's just like, boom, you're in a different landscape. Boom, you're in a different landscape. First you're in like city and then boom, yeah, like that. He's snapping, <laughs> it's so cute. Boom, into forest and swamp and then boom, we're into prairie. All of a sudden, it's like you just come out of the trees and you're in the prairie. It's shocking. Then. We go boom, and all of a sudden, we drove, we stopped in Airdrie. Mm. We drove through Calgary in the morning. Airdrie is a suburb of Calgary in Alberta. We drove through Calgary in the morning, and then as we exit the traffic jam that is Calgary, we just were in the foothills. All of a sudden, there's no more prairie. You can see it out the one window, and out your other window, it's mountains. It's unbelievable. It is so freaking cool. So, um, yeah, highly recommend. Come visit Canada, because it's awesome if you're not here. And if you are, I highly recommend the drive. We actually, we're definitely gonna do it at least one more time, if not twice, if not more, because it only took us five days. <laughs> um, but we didn't, oh. But we didn't stop anywhere either. Darnell wanted to do it in four because we were sort of on a mission just to get here and get set up before Darnell's uh, vacation was over. Next time we do it, we're gonna do the leisurely version. <laughs> um, I really wanna see the Badlands in Saskatchewan. I wanna go see the dinosaur bones. Um, we have a Winnie the Pooh in Ontario that we have to stop and take picture with. I want to be able to stop also and go visit the parks a little bit more, but I know, and here's the coolest thing ever, Prince George is only like four hours away from there. Uh -huh. Yeah. 
How cool is that, buddy? We're going to get to go play in the mountains and go see the glacier lakes. Uh, and just straight up glaciers. Uh, Why don't we give them a tour of our place? What do you think? It's kind of a mess. Oh, yes. What else? He. <laughs> <laughs> oh, big hugs. <laughs> um, also, magic. Darnell did all of the driving. I don't know how how he did that, but he drove every single minute of that trip. And that's kind of spectacular. Okay, let's start by the, the entrance to our lovely basement suite. Here we go, we are in the basement of Darnell's family home. Hey, no, 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 we're not climbing the stairs right now. Come here. We're gonna show everybody. <coughs> It's a work in progress, but it's progressing. So we come in. Da, 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 da. It's a bunch of boxes. Surprise! <laughs> but our living room area is here. We have a fridge, which is sick. And the coffee station, which is a mess, but is also just starting, starting out. We've got coffees we've got a sugar bowl we've got vanilla we love putting vanilla and cinnamon in our coffee here's our couch living room area this is actually set up and Tuka's playing drums on the rock band drums these days so fun behind me is the gym which uh Darnell's brother Carson came over yesterday and they sort of he organized it really nicely. Um, it used to be this whole area in the living room, so there was a lot of organizing to do, and it looks great. I was really enjoying my workout in there today. Our bedroom, which has this unbelievable wall hanging from Darnell's grandpa's, sorry, Darnell's great grandpa? No, I think it's Darnell's dad's great grandpa. Anyways bed, side tables, more art from grandma, and also from a great grandparent. Super, super dope and so beautiful. So there's our bedroom. We also got those, those like color changing lights. So <laughs> you can see Darnell opts for purple and I opt for more of an orange color. Careful, honey. That's like a serious tripping hazard. Oh boy, here we go. Take big steps. Let mommy help. You gonna take big steps? Come. Big steps. Big steps. Good job. Oh, another big step. Okay, try again. There you go. Good job. Alrighty. And then Tuka, you wanna show everyone your room? Let's show everyone your room, Tooks. Where's your bedroom? Tuka. <coughs> this is Tuka's room. Very cool. Lots of toys, crib, playpen, which we can take down now, but we were actually using as the crib until we had a chance to set the crib up. Oh, it's pretty good lighting in here. Yeah, Tooks. Is this your room? Yeah. Does Tuka like this room? Oh. Tuka likes this room. <laughs> yeah. What's your favorite part? The window. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Are you showing everyone around? What a great room. Oh, what's that? <laughs> oh, a koala. Koala. We're so, so fortunate because Tuka was incredibly well behaved. <laughs> yeah? Is that a koala song? <gasps> Thank you. <laughs> Who wants a hug? 
He needs a koala hug. Oh, is it big hugs for koala, babe? Tuka was an absolute dream in the car. I am still uh, completely amazed by you, honey. I'm amazed by you. Yes. Darling, I'm amazed by you. <laughs> so, I just had this moment where I was on the treadmill, which is brilliant. I haven't been on a treadmill in like, feels like forever. And I'm like listening to some pop music and getting into the groove and I got like right into it. I was jogging, which I haven't done in like a year, I guess, maybe, maybe more. Um, and it felt a little strange on my knees cause I'm much heavier than the last time I job, but at the same time, like felt so good. And I just had this moment where I was like, oh yeah, that's what I feel like. <laughs> that's what my energy feels like. Um, and I haven't been vlogging because I've been feeling super uncomfortable. Um, just like trying to get my bearings. And I promised you guys I would talk to you of, and show you the culture shock um, <laughs> along the way. And uh, this is definitely one of those moments. So um, I thought I'd just give you a little update on what that feels like. I am not myself. I don't know. It just feels like my temper is really, really hot um, and I lose it quite frequently um and i'm just kind of like i don't know i guess stressed out um so my workouts i thought you know okay i'll get back to my morning morning routine i need my meditation i need my workouts definitely those help although i think currently they've made the temper tantrums my temper tantrums worse <laughs> um but uh that's probably just me working through it but it's just different Everything is totally different. Um, so there's a lot of great. We've definitely done some cool things. We went on a family walk on Easter. That was amazing. There's some beautiful parks and stuff here in Prince George. And one of the big things that I wanted to do with our lifestyle is not be cooped up in a condo and to be getting outside more. So we have a really cool morning routine and I'll show you um, in the next vlog, which will be a day in the life here in our new city. Um, but yeah, like Tuka brings me his shoes now, so we go outside a lot more. Um, and it's nice to be able to access the outdoors right away. It's really nice to put anything in the GPS and it says like five minutes, <laughs> max seven. And you can do all of your errands in the morning or, in, you know, in like one time block, like between breakfast and lunch or between lunch and dinner. It's amazing. It takes a lot less time to do things here. And I love that. Um, but yeah, I have definitely been struggling. I guess like adjusting to, you know, the whole new environment, a new space, adjusting to living with people again that are not Darnell and Tuka. <laughs> that is really weird. It's crazy. We live with my in-laws. Just learning where everything goes, what the rules are, how we're going to split everything. And um, I feel like it feels a bit like walking on eggshells. Um, you're like you're trying to be on your best behavior as a kid, you know, that's what it feels like. And it feels like that. And probably because like, I mean, we love each other. I just want everyone to be happy. Um, but I also know that for myself, like I'm a people pleaser and I'm not very good at asking for help. So since we've gotten here, like, I feel like I just, I'm on serve mode all the time. Um, and I haven't really taken anything for, like, I haven't asked for anything for myself. It's really, oh, there's Tuka. But it's been, did I just finish this thought? It's been difficult too because Tuka, we've only been here for like a week and a half. Tuka's been adjusting as well and so he wants his mama. And so it's not like we can just be like, oh, here's the kid. Like, I'm going to go do this thing. <laughs> so um, I do need to get better at that and we do need to start doing that. But uh, I'm excited, though, because I've been talking to Darnell about it, obviously, but he's going to take Tuka on Tuesday afternoons so I can at least do things like that I, I just don't 
like he's a toddler now I don't get anything done and moms for the love of God help a girl out like how do you do this <laughs> leave a comment below let me know what's going on what am I missing <laughs> how do you get anything done or do you not and you just adjust to that fact and and get used to it I'm gonna go get a bub Say hello to the camera, Bubs. <laughs> Say hi, everyone. <laughs> so, yeah. But Tuka has also been really enjoying himself. It's really nice to have so much family around for him to play with and to get to know. Um, yeah, who's that? Is that the baby Tuka right there? It's just Tuka. And Mama. Awesome. Well, that is our recap of our trip and a quick peek into our beautiful new abode. Hey, Bubs. So, um, yeah, huge thanks to Darnell's parents for having these already set up um, for us and also for lending us furniture and just amazing. So we are able to get ourselves off to a tremendous start so far um and now we're unpacking still it's still getting set up we still have to do like our ids and new phone numbers and all that crazy address changes and all that crazy stuff and then <sighs> we'll be here in bc residents residents of british columbia that's right <laughs> Hope you guys are having a great day and we'll see you very, very soon.